Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudabia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King reviewed national issues and regional and international updates and commended the loyal patriotism of the people and public and private institutions in celebrating the 15th anniversary of voting in the National Action Charter referendum. He confirmed that the Charter, which is the basis of the Reform and Democratic Project, had contributed to the success of national action and modernised the approach and performance of various state authorities and institutions. He added that the Charter had laid the foundation for facing all challenges had had increased cohesion between the people in leadership, in addition to developing the state of law and institutions, as well as protecting freedoms and rights. His Majesty commended the tremendous efforts exerted by the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in reinforcing development and supporting democracy, in addition to preserving the gains achieved through the National Action Charter. He called on everyone to adhere to the spirit of unity reflected within the Charter through which the people's aspirations for development, modernisation, freedom and democracy were realised. His Majesty the King highlighted Bahrain's keenness to consolidate its relations with friendly countries and to expand fields of cooperation. He reviewed with the Cabinet the results of his recent successful visit to Russia and the outcomes of his talks with the Russian President Vladimir Putin, which covered regional and international political developments, most importantly the stability of the Middle East. His Majesty the King noted the Russian leadership's appreciation of Bahrain's policy and its keenness to develop bilateral relations and enhance joint cooperation to meet the aspirations of both countries and their people. He directed the government to conduct studies into establishing joint Gulf development projects that reinforce Gulf cooperation and support integration so as to meet the Gulf's energy, water and infrastructure needs. His Majesty also directed the government to execute more projects in partnership with the private sector that would support the industrial field and serve the tourism and commercial sector. Regarding regional security and economic challenges, His Majesty the King affirmed the need to protect Bahrain from such dangers by committing to a spirit of teamwork with brotherly and friendly countries in dealing with security threats through the Gulf Cooperation Council and participation in the Saudi-led Arab coalition to support the sovereignty of Yemen. This is in addition to Bahrain's participation with brotherly and friendly countries in Saudi's major North Thunder military exercise and manoeuvres, in which 20 Arab and Islamic countries will prepare to deal with terrorist organisations so as to protect the Gulf Arab and Islamic peoples from the dangers of terrorism. His Majesty praised the performance of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and its role in securing political, economic and security stability and said that economic challenges must be overcome in the best interest of the citizens. In this context, His Majesty the King praised Bahraini citizens' understanding and comprehension of the requirements of the current phase and the new approach it imposes. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the views of His Majesty the King, which lay down the Kingdom's path in national, regional and international issues. He congratulated His Majesty the King on the achievements and gains since the launch of the National Action Charter, which reflected His Majesty's wise vision, affirming that the Charter initiated political and democratic participation, as well as freedom and development. The Prime Minister stressed that regional economic and political developments require greater cooperation and friendly cooperation based on mutual respect. He noted that the government follows royal directives which encourage the adoption of initiatives that help to reduce the impact of security and economic challenges on the kingdom and its people. He said that royal directives would inspire the government to execute more development projects in the service of the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabir Palace the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, and members of the Representatives and Shura Councils in the presence of the former Speaker of the Representatives Council, Khalifa al Dahrani, and senior officials. His Royal Highness said that true democracy respects different opinions and views, saying that attempts to disrupt workflow with the excuse of freedom is considered a crime. He pointed out that vandalism hidden behind democracy is terrorism and its perpetrators must be dealt with accordingly. 
The Prime Minister further added that exploiting services provided by the state to serve terrorism and sabotage was a crime that would not be tolerated. He called for national unity in Bahrain's safe and stable atmosphere to be preserved and urged the acceleration of efforts to enhance the homeland's progress and prosperity. He added that differences in views regarding national work mustn't harm the best interests of the country. The Prime Minister commended the role of the Legislative Authority in cooperating with the Executive Authority to support the national economy and ease the impact of international economic developments on the Kingdom's development process. He noted that the procedures taken by Bahrain to deal with these challenges had been implemented with a view to minimising the impact on citizen-related matters. Here's Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace the US Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. The Crown Prince highlighted the strategic cooperation between the two countries and joint coordination at political and economic levels. 
His Royal Highness expressed the Kingdom's keenness to develop bilateral relations and reinforce security cooperation in order to support national stability and confront terrorist threats and groups that seek to destabilise international peace and security. He also noted Bahrain's support for the efforts of friendly countries to preserve regional and international security and stability. Under the patronage of its speaker Ali Al Saleh, the Shura Council held a workshop in conjunction with the Conrad Adenauer Foundation under the theme of Parliament's role in forming the legislative authority. The Shura Council's first deputy chairman, Jamal Mohamed Fakru, expressed his thanks to the Conrad Adenauer Foundation for organising the workshop in Bahrain and affirmed the importance of cooperation with international legislative institutions. The workshop follows the Shura Council's keenness to be introduced to different legislative experiences, which would contribute to developing the Council and the Legislative Authority. The workshop will review European and German parliamentary experience in the fields of policy making, public monitoring, transparency and efficiency, and will also compare this with Bahraini parliamentary experience. Under the patronage of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and of the Chairman and Honorary President of Al Sanabil Orphans Care Society, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Society held a ceremony honouring His Majesty the King's selection as winner of the GCC Honorary Personality in the field of orphans care. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah highlighted His Majesty the King's care for orphans through the Royal Charity Organisation, which adopts initiatives and strategies to provide assistance to orphans from inside and outside the kingdom. He also hailed the remarkable efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid al Khalifa. He also praised the significant efforts of the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid al Khalifa. The Supreme Council for Women held a consultative meeting at its headquarters in Rafah to discuss the Political Empowerment Programme 2016 to 2018 in the presence of members of the representatives and Shura councils and representatives of judicial authorities. The Secretary General of the SCW, Hala Al Ansari, held the numerous achievements made by Bahraini women in various fields under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. During the meeting, the SCW Secretary General reviewed the political empowerment programme of women's electoral process and affirmed the importance of cooperation and coordination in order to achieve the set goals of the programme. And now it's time for the latest business news with Danielle. Thanks very much, Esther. A very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. Bahrain-based Batelco Group has reported net profits of 49.5 million Bahraini dinars for 2015, up from 49.3 million in 2014. Net profit in the fourth quarter of 2015 was 2% higher than the corresponding period of the previous year. The group's gross revenues stood at 327.4 million dinars for the year, a decrease of 4% year over year. Nevertheless, Patelco ended the year with a strong balance sheet and financial position. As of December 31st, net assets were worth 573.1 million dinars, with substantial cash and bank balances of 160 million. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,166.85 points, 0.8 points above yesterday's closing level. The investment sector rose, although investors mainly traded in the commercial bank shares, to the value of 91% of shares traded. In total, today there were 31 transactions, composed of 1,330,635 shares, worth 99,326 Bahraini dinars.